E-Wave. I don't know if you saw this. They just announced their computing systems ready to hit the market. That stock is jumping uh, 20%. Was this an expected announcement from them? Can you do you do you have any more information about D-Wave and what this what this news means? Uh, it wasn't that much of a needle mover for me. You guys all know I'm a massive Ion Cubal. Again, got an Ion Cube a couple years ago. Risk and reward is completely different. But I do think that the comparing a D Wave and Ion Q, I do think Ion Q has the most scalable approach for quantum computing with their trapped ion technology. Like it is by far the most scalable. And you're also seeing how easily they can integrate into the cloud, like through the partnership with Amazon, AWS, Google, uh, Microsoft, Azure. Like so I do think that's the higher ceiling play. D-Wave is more of a niche execution play on what Quantum can do right now because without getting too technical, like they really focus on like quantum annealing. So it's not really that universal. It's very, it's like delivering real results today for specific optimization problems. And they've gone traction with like all these legacy industries like logistics, defense, and manufacturing. And they're positioned more like a near-term applied tech company than a real moonshot, like what IonQ is trying to conquer by building a gate-based quantum system which is highly more scalable with their trapped on technology so like i think it's again on like it's very different industries but the way to digest because i know quantum is goes people over people's heads like way out there look at what waymo and tesla is trying to do for autonomy or blackberry versus iphone for example there's always going to be that one competing product in these early sector growth themes where they look like a, they're getting business right now they look like a leader but it's because they're tackling the low-hanging fruits. And that's misleading, potentially, if you're a 5 plus year investor. That's kind of what D-Wave is kind of... That's their approach in Quantum, the way IonQ is, where like they're getting the near-term solutions, but it's not the scalable approach to combat AI compute workload issues in the cloud.